Let's dive right in and assume that you recently made your way to my Gumroad page and you found a free asset for graduated cylinders, Erlenmeyers, or beakers, or something that has a similar image texture that helps generate the final product. And you want to change something about it. You're not particularly happy with the gradations, or maybe you just wanted to not say made in Blender and you like it to say something else and you want to alter that yourself. How do you go about doing that? Well, very simply. So you'd start by downloading the asset, whatever it may be, could be one of mine, could be something else. Once you have the file loaded up, you can see everything is in place with the gradation, but what we really want to change is the actual image texture underneath that. So to access that, we're very simply going to select one of our objects for the one that we'd like to change. Then we're going to change to a node editor or shader editor specifically. And you can see this is actually our image texture. And if I zoom out, you can see this is how the image texture is set up. If you're interested, I'll link the video for how to make Erlen Myers in the description. But what you actually want is this specific file and how to change it yourself, this JPEG. So very simply, what you're going to do is you're going to come to unpack item, and then you can actually choose where you're going to save it. So I'm going to choose a write file to current directory overwrite existing file. I could also write to original location, but in this case, I'm going to go overwrite existing file. You can see I've saved that package file to a specific location. And if we now just head over to where that file is, I'm just going to drag it over here. You can now see we have this folder for textures. And if I open it, you can see I have the specific texture in question, which is right there. Now, if I want to, I could take this into any program that I like, such as Photoshop or paint even, Inkscape, Illustrator, and you could go ahead and make any modifications that you wanted to, resave the file back into this location, and then use that for the image texture. So that is something that will apply pretty generally to anything where you have a packaged image texture. Simply choose Unpack and then save it to wherever you'd like. You can modify it and re-import it as per your needs. So as always, thanks for coming out. Hopefully this was a helpful quick tip. If it was, consider subscribing, sharing with your friends and colleagues, and until next time, you have yourselves a great old day.